let's go to this uh, source main java and let's create the package here so i will do alt insert package and com dot backstreet programmer same as our group id i create this package here similar i will create for in the test java package as well so insert alt insert package control v so we created our this uh, so and for this chapter it's called uh, chapter 3 uh spot plus program so let's create the package similarly for that we will have separate packages for separate chapters so alt insert package chapter 3 spark first program that's it okay and also let me create the resources file i mean in resources we'll create the log 4j2 dot properties file because uh otherwise uh, there would be lots and lots of uh like warnings or like messages will be being printed uh, before the spark context uh, before the spark actually gives out uh, the, the the useful output so let's get that properties file first so i'm at resources folder and alt insert file and the file name would be log 4j2 dot properties and here i will write uh, some of the properties file for log for you log for log for you too to save some time i've already like uh, copied it in the notepad before so i'll just paste it here so it's like log for you to dot root logger is one and uh, std out and for the std out which is just printing on the console here so i have put it as system dot out and it's console appender pattern layout and the pattern layout is for this particular date format so this is how it will be printed in each line. So that's it about uh, log 4 2 properties. Uh, I will create a similar one for test package as well. So I'll just copy this log 4 2 properties, control C, and I will put it here. Log 4 2 Okay. So you've got uh, both of these properties files, log 4 properties in both source main Java and test Java. Now let's start writing our first program. So I click on Alt Insert Java class and put it as a Spark first program. Okay. I've created this first uh, as this name. Let me create some space here and create a main method PSVM. It will automatically create this. Okay. Now let's uh, create our Spark session that we discussed. So here, what we need to do is that we have got the Spark session, and uh, we can we can create this Spark session using this builder pattern, where we can configure uh, by creating the master uh, name and app name and all. And after that, we will create a Java Spark context out of it, because from Spark session we can actually uh, create get the Spark context and we can pass it as a parameter to create our Java Spark context object. So let me start creating this on uh, the spark session object first uh, by using the spark session builder so i will use spark session and okay dot builder and here i will use this builder and dot app name the so app name is required and uh, let's put it as the same name as our spark first program this is the app name and then the master would be i will choose master as local star i will explain all of this uh, what is the meaning of this okay so let's first of all create this object first and i will just simply call get or create which will create a spark session for me and i push control alt v and i will just mark it as spark that's it and uh, because we are using uh, JDK 11, so I can just mark it as final war. Okay, and because this is auto closable, so I will use try, try uh, with resources block, and put this inside this. Uh, so try with this, and yeah, so this is my try block. I I have inserted this semicolon here so that I can also create 
uh, this java spark context also at the at the same try block so for this i will create uh, i will use this new java spark context java spark context and i will use this spark to get sorry it's uh, spark dot spark context yes so this will pass me this spark dot spark context and uh, i will show it in a very control alt b and i will just call this as spark context and i will mark it as final war again final war okay for this we don't need to provide this spark mode so this is our try i have this one so what we have done is that we created a spark session using the builder pattern we have provided the app name master and then we created this and using the, uh, the same spark session i got a spark context and i pass it as a constructed parameter to create this java spark context object so this is what we have seen here in uh, java spark context that we are passing this spark context.sc from this spark session that we created 